now alone in the world. Civil War came and shook up the social structure just enough, women came pouring out of their houses. They came pouring out of their farms directly into the public arena as if to say, we can make a difference. We will make a difference. There were many, many women who wrote in their diaries, I wish I could put on men's clothing and go to a war. Recent scholarship has indicated that between 500 and 1,000 women went into military service, some of them for very short blocks of time and some for two or three years, depending on what led to their discovery or whether they were able to maintain anonymity throughout. There are a number of cases of women going to war with their husbands or their fiancés, and a number of girls went to war with their brothers. How could they pass the medical inspection? Well, reading about a medical inspection was you had two feet and you could walk, and therefore you were inducted into the army. The Civil War armies were very different from our modern armies. They lived outside almost all the time. Large proportions of the soldiers were young, which meant it wasn't that unusual to have a soldier who had a higher pitched voice or who had not yet sprouted an obvious beard. So women who looked like clean-shaven or beardless young men found it easier to hide. They didn't take their clothes off. It helped that the uniforms were very baggy. In the 19th century, notions about gender were so clearly associated with particular forms of dress that if you saw someone in pants, it simply didn't occur to you that that person was anything but a man. I wake at dawn. I force myself to bury all thought of my old life. I am ready to play my part in a great drama. It is strangely simple to arraign myself in my soldier's uniform. And no one thinks to stop me. She was sort of a freelance soldier, and this was not that unusual either. Early in the war, there were uh, militia soldiers and uh, the regular army, which was very, very small north and south. The south didn't even really have a regular army. And so it was not unusual for people to 
come in and sort of appoint themselves or be accepted uh, as sort of a volunteer officer. She donned the uniform and became Buford. She is passing. In July 1861, Loretta would fight in the first major battle of the Civil War, Bull Run, also known as Manassas. What she thought would be a short skirmish would turn into four long years of bloody civil strife. There was horror in battle. But I was bent upon showing I was as good as any man. <laughs> <laughs> 